Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today we are heading to Borough Market, just behind me over there. Look, massive market, massive food market, over a hundred different stalls selling food from all over the world. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to choose to eat yet. I'm sure by the end of this video, you will, as well as I will know what that will be. In the meantime, I am so excited about this one. Let's go and check this place out. As you come out of London Bridge tube station, literally a stone's throw away is Borough Market. I've come out today in search of some good street food, and I've got a funny feeling this could just be the right place to find it. Established in 1885, Borough Market has grown and become renowned for being one of London's most popular markets to visit. It's Thursday afternoon. This place is absolutely jam-packed. I think most of these people are actually tourists, literally just passing through, taking a few pictures and probably buying some souvenirs with Borough Market written on them, just to say they've been there. I could be wrong, but I do know one thing. If this is what it's like on a Thursday afternoon, I dread to think what it'd be like on a weekend. In my personal opinion, and it is my personal opinion, I would relate this place to a massive indoor farmer's market with lots of little stalls selling high-end produce such as home-baked bread and cured meats and sausages and uh, a selection of cheeses. In fact, to be 100% honest with you, if you were to imagine a uh, walkabout open delicatessen, you probably wouldn't be far off the mark. Okay, maybe I am being a little bit unfair comparing it to an open delicatessen. But if like me, you came in search of street food, 
well, I'm sorry to say this, but you are going to be a little bit disappointed. The only thing I found close to that was a little stall knocking out paella. And just outside, a little fish and chips shop with sort of like awards and that kind of thing. But both of them had about a 45 minute queue outside of them. And to be honest with you, if there's one thing I don't do, is queue up for 45 minutes for something to eat. You won't believe this, but I had to look twice at this sign saying you have arrived at Borough Market. I half expected it to say you have arrived at Koh San Road in Bangkok because that was the last place I saw a street so jam packed like this. Apparently, the 2001 film Bridget Jones's Diary was actually filmed in this pub. Yeah, the Globe Tavern. It was shot here. And I think that is an excellent reason why I should stop here and have myself a nice, cold, refreshing pint. Here I am at Pura Market. In all true honesty, I couldn't find anywhere or anything to eat, so I opted for the second choice. I had myself a pint of cider instead, just to make myself feel better. Anyway, here I am, Pura Market. In all fairness, if you are in the area and just wandering around thinking of something to do, then definitely worth a little visit. Have a little stroll around the market yourself and see what you think. Comments below. Um, but generally speaking, yeah, I don't think there was anything that jumped out at me and said, I've really got to go to Borough Market for this or that or anything in particular. It's just a market really. Um, yeah, famous London market. Worth a visit, as I say, if you're in the area. Apart from that, Chef's Travels, thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.